circle back up to the NFL week five preview. And I, I, I have to go Cowboys 49ers. I have to go with my team. Sunday easy. night football game. Yeah, it's, it's easy matchup. Stamp. Two of the three best teams in the NFC on paper. Uh, a game that can definitely determine seeding as far as as far as who's going to be uh, if, if both teams win their divisions. You know, winner of this game could very well have own the tiebreaker of who gets the one seed, who gets the two seed. Granted, the 49ers aren't going to be phased by it because they went in there and won um, two years ago. But... But the, you know, I would like to see that that Cowboys pass rush. See if they're able to make Brock Purdy uncomfortable. I think try. I think if if you're the Cowboys, you want to try to, you almost want to stack that box. Try to make Brock Purdy beat you. Um, don't allow those explosive plays that the 49ers are able to make. Keep keep Christian McCaffrey in check because I think he is the he's the keys to that offense that make everything go. If they're able to keep him under wraps and not let um, him have explosive plays. I like Dallas's chances, and um, de- offensively, if you're Dallas, is with Dak, less is more. Be able to run the ball, take take time off that clock because this this is going to be a field possession, um, field possession, time of possession type of game because both teams want to run the ball and it's going to limit the possessions and whoever almost feels like whoever's going to make. Who gets that first for or has that first turnover or something like that? That's going to make the difference in the game. It's going to be, I think, it's going to be a low-scoring defensive battle. Um, and I think, like, like I said, whoever makes that first mistake could be the uh, could be the team that's going to end up falling short in this one. Well, and and then also, this is big. Just Dallas forsaking the NFC East earlier in the day. Philadelphia they play the Rams. At 4:05 Eastern, say so hypothetically speaking, Philadelphia wins that game. If Dallas, you know, falls short against their nemesis in the Niners, they're three and two. I understand they still have to play the Eagles twice, and they could make those games up. But early in the year, you, you, I'd, I'd rather not be down two games in my division already against that team. But like I said, it's, it's a long year, so that's just kind of the fan in me talking. But again, Dylan, to your point, just shows how important this game actually is. Yep. And, uh, Grant, who, who who do you got for week five? Game? So my, my week five game of week boys, I'm kind of going off the rails here a little bit. Um, they've been a surprise team for us the last two weeks. And if they win this game here, we might be on the D'Amico Ryan's coach of the year stand account Ooh. and the Houston Ooh. Texans stand account. I'm going Texans Falcons. Wow. Two, Cut. two teams that are going to, it's a, as far as w- getting staying on staying pace relevant to win, on pace and to win, win your the, division, win the Souths, yeah, it, this is a big game. Houston starts zero and two. They get back on the winning streak these last two weeks. They're two and two. They're feeling good. They're um, they're looking up like, hey, what D'Amico's preaching, we believe in. We believe in these young rookies bringing in Jimmy Ward from San Francisco. Houston is cooking. They're feeling good about themselves. Atlanta starts the year off 2-0, and big win. Um, no, no, they lost. I'm sorry, they lost. They lost the first week to, no, to the Saints, didn't no, they? No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. They no, lost they won. The they beat the Saints. Oh. No, the Titans played the Saints week one. That's right. First, I thought the Falcons started 2-0. and They did. I can't remember who they beat. They, they did. Started. They started off 2-0. and They've lost their last two you games. You talk, I'll, I'll look it up. Um, Desmond Ritter you know, was bad last week. Do, do they believe him in Atlanta there? Um, um, you know, this offense, they need some explosion in the passing game. You know, if, if, if the Falcons go two and three, maybe they're sitting back like, Ooh, this Arthur, Arthur Smith led team with Desmond Ritter. Maybe it's not the right connection. Three, losing three games in a row in the NFL is not good. So, the, you know, I think the Falcons need this, the Texans need it. And who knows? You know, the Jags, the Jags had the Bills this week, and I believe uh, the Titans and Colts play each other. So there's a chance Houston will be tied for first in the AFC South after this Sunday. So Carolina was who the Falcons beat in week one. Carolina, that's right. It was a division. I got, at least got the divisional game right. 
Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Texans Falcons. All right. Uh, side note: Philly's gone full nuclear right now. They just hit a grand slam. So, uh, oh, so oh. was what eight one? Uh, Philly's gonna yep. try to pull that one out. Yep. That uh, is the. This is also the first. The first time in a regular full 162 game season that the Miami Marlins have lost a playoff series. Wow. Oh wow. It was also yep. left on lefty crime, like, and it was at, it was a new. It was from the bat. You're like, oh shit. Oh boy, that bat baseball's gonna go a long way. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, for my team or game of the week, I'm staying in the AFC South. I'm going Colts Titans. Um, can the Colts keep this good play going? Uh, that's just one. They have so many headlines you could go. Are, are they trading Jonathan Taylor? Is he playing? Uh, he practiced uh, full participant today, like. No one has a freaking clue what the hell they're going to do with this guy. Does he even want to play? I mean, I don't know. Um, and then you got the Titans coming off a nice win, 27-3 to over Bengals. How are they going to bounce back? Is Ryan Tannehill going to go into a shell again? Is he going to look like himself? Is Derrick Henry going to throw a touchdown pass? You know, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's going to be a hell of a game. And these two, these games are always just physical. Like, this is like what football is right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And- with Shane Steichen coming in, he's going to want to run the ball, and they get AR fifteen back, mm-hmm. um, you know, from his concussion this week. So, yeah, any any time the division lead is on the line for a week, I'm all for it. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yep, and I I have to I am I am actually starting Anthony Richardson this week because in my uh, my regular quarterback is out on a bye week, so okay. um, my hands are I'm. Putting my faith in AR, well, formerly AR-15. Now it's just AR-5. Uh, True. I like AR-15. It just rolls off the tongue. It, it does. It does. But we got all of our NFL Week 5 preview. 